What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. My childhood has returned in another trailer for Lightyear. We're going to watch it, talk about it. Let's do it. Take me on a nostalgic journey. Buzz Lightyear mission log, starting 3901. <laughs> After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to the... I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Ready, Animation is just... This is exciting. A new adventure. I'm gonna grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back. Ah, to here's some story. And beyond. You are clear for hyperlodge. People, people, people. I want to know what this is about. <laughs> Buzz like you to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Uh, hey, hey! Shh! The robots. The what? What is happening right now? Alicia? Oh, no. That's my grandmother. But, Socks, how long were we gone? Yum, 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 yum. 62 years, 7 months, and 5 days. What? Shoot! Okay! ready for action. Because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien. This is a twist. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. I do this and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. And what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. But it is not. That's Taika Waititi. Pretty close. I need that. You don't say the harpoons. Buzz! Buzz, right here! The probability of survival with an inexperienced crew... 38.2%. Seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent. Yeah! Grandma always says she believed in you. Little Zerg! That was a big swirly dude. I think I need a bed. Don't always record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. If you are satisfied with this recording, speak or select one. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. <sighs> Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That trailer provided so much more than I anticipated. We got Zerg, a couple of looks at Zerg, what looks to be a final showdown of sorts. We knew he would be the villain this entire time. I'm just excited to see what they throw in there. But for me, it's the twist. For me, it's 60-something years in the future. Why did that happen? Is this like an interstellar-type film? Uh, it has this Star Wars feel to it when he crash lands on the desolate planet and the intergalactic nature to it all. It's just putting an entirely different spin on a character that we know and love. Of course, voiced by Chris Evans, which at first I was hesitant. I'm like, my Buzz Lightyear is Tim Allen. This is going to be weird. But after it was explained as this is what the toy was based off of, I said, you know what? That makes all the sense in the world, and I'm actually okay with that. And I'm excited to see where they go with this story. I'm a huge fan of the 2D animated movie back in the day. I believe it was like Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. So this trailer got me so much more excited because now we kind of know what the story is. Now we know the team that surrounds Buzz Lightyear, hearing voices like Taika Waititi. And I really love this cast. So everything combined with the stunning animation is getting me super excited. And Lightyear is officially one of my most anticipated movies of the year. I understand the hesitancy from some people. It's like, why do we need this film? But for me, my statement is, why not? Why not take a character that we know and love and put a new spin on that character and the story and take it in a very sci-fi-esque direction? If it's bad, well, then it's bad. But we still have our other movies to, to look at and look forward to going back and re-watching. So, for me, why not take that risk and do something different? That's what it looks like they're doing with Lightyear. But the question is, will they deliver? This is not the only animated movie we're talking about today. The Bad Guys. I watched it last night. We're going to review it a little bit later on the channel today. So, look forward to that. And this weekend, a ranking of all of the DreamWorks films. A giant tier list. Stay tuned. I'll see you later.